Hi, everyone. This is Susan Trumbull, your Toby Dynavox AAC Solutions Consultant in Western New York State. Um, today, I want to demonstrate our TD pilot for you. This is our brand new Apple certified made for iOS eye gaze enabled device that we launched uh, last week, uh, the week of November 15th, 2021. Um, I wanted to demonstrate this for you because I know so many of you are interested in seeing how it works, but I'm not going to be able to get out in person to see all of you. So I figured that I would show it to you. So the first thing I want to start with is, first of all, you can see my eyes moving around on the screen. Those are my eyes. Um, I'm all calibrated to this device, but I first want to show you how we calibrate. So um, right now we're actually in our Apple Assistive Touch menu. If you remember when we um, when Apple came out with their iOS 15 platform, they came out with their Assistive Touch menu that allows alternative access with the iPad. One of those alternative access is eye gaze, and the TD Pilot integrates our awesome Toby Dynavox eye tracker with the Apple Integrative Touch. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my assistive touch to open up the TD Copilot. The TD Copilot is how we position and calibrate our eyes to the TD Pilot. Um, so this is the same that you've seen in our iSeries devices. I'm actually all calibrated, so I'm going to go down here and test my accuracy. So I'm going to look at each of these targets, make sure I'm pretty accurate. That looks good. One thing you should know in the TD Pilot is this is where you will come to set your calibration points because you can calibrate one, five, or nine targets. You can also track both eyes, your left eye, your right eye. Um, this is also where you can come, you can check your battery percentages for the iPad and the TD Pilot. The TD Pilot's actually the base for the iPad. And this is also where you can come to check your stability for your assistive touch. I think I could make mine a little bit more stable for me today. Um, so this is kind of how that works. I'm actually going to exit out of the co-pilot. I'm going to go to my assistive touch menu and I'm going to go to my home screen. So you've noticed on my home screen, I had made my app, I have made my apps a little bit larger. I'm going to first start with one of our TD, um, our Toby Dynavox software programs. I'm going to start with TD Snap. I want to show you the difference in the eye tracking between the iOS environment and in our Toby Dynavox software environment. Um, you'll notice when I'm in the Toby Dynavox software, how the eye tracking is quick. I need, I need help. help. Efficient. No, you're kidding me. Very accurate. Excuse, Excuse me. me. This is going everywhere I'm asking it to on my software. So you can see how that's really, Susan. really easy. Um, and that's because our Toby Dynavox software takes advantage of the Toby Dynavox region interaction technology. Region interaction is a feature where the button or the target acts like a magnet that snaps your gaze to the center of the target that you're aiming for. Um, this increases efficiency, accuracy, and reduces effort and fatigue. So anytime that you're in our Toby Dynavox software, you're gonna be using this region-based technology, um, which makes eye tracking really seamless, easy to use, and quick. Now you're wondering, oh, yes. how do I get out back out into the iOS environment. You actually go to your dashboard and in the dashboard in TG's TD Snap, no matter what page set you're using, I'm in a text-based page set here, um, there's going to be a button in your dashboard that says eye gaze iOS. So I'm gonna start my eye gaze back up. I'm gonna go into my eye gaze iOS and I'm gonna start my assistive touch. This is going to get me out into the iOS environment and you can see on my assistive touch menu, um, I've actually customized this a little bit. Um, I'm going to pause my eyes real quick here. So I've actually customized my menu just a little bit. When I open it up, you're going to see that. I have a home button, a scroll button, the device where I can get into the settings. I can tap. My app switcher is where I can open different apps. And then we have some other menu items here I've customized where we can move the menu or custom customize things a little bit more. I'm actually going to go to my home page again. And on my home page, I'm going to show you one other Toby Dynavox software or app that's on here called TD Talk. This was actually made for the TD Pilot. This is basically a text to speech app that is eye gaze enabled. So, very, very simple app. 
Um, it's got a keyboard and it has some quick phrases. I'm going to bring my eyes, turn my eyes back on here. One neat thing. Yes. I need help. You can edit up to eight phrases. So here's all our quick phrases. These can be customized. Please wait until I've finished my message before guessing what I mean. And I can go back to my keyboard. One neat thing about TD Talk is that we have inline editing. So say I'm typing something and I made a mistake. I can actually look at the word that I made a mistake and I can type over it. If you notice how it highlighted it. So now I can type over it. Close my inline editing and speak my name. My name is Susan. So really, really cool. Pretty simple um, text-to-speech app. We will be adding more features to this as time goes on based on our customer feedback. So if you have some input, certainly let me know. I'm going to go back into my assistive touch menu. So I brought that menu up just by looking below the eye tracker, bringing that menu up. And I'm going to open up my assisted touch menu, go back to my home page. Now that you've seen how the eye tracking works in the Toby Dynavox software, I want to show you how it looks when we go out into our iOS apps. Um, so you can see I'm in my iOS apps right now. I can, uh, I can access any of my apps that are on here. Um, your apps do need to be in landscape orientation for it to work with eye tracking. I'm going to open up Solitaire. Oops. And I'm going to show you kind of how this works. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Hold on. Let's go back. Let's open up Solitaire. All right, so with Solitaire, I'm going to start a new game. You notice the eye tracking is not quite a study. Um, that's because Apple doesn't use our region-based eye tracking that Toby Dynavox uses. So it's not quite a study. Yet, um, when I've been using this over the last couple of weeks, um, my efficiency with the assistive touch eye tracking has really gotten a lot better. So um, I think this is just exciting though, because it enable, it allows eye tracking um, in iOS to be accessible to people and people who love their iPads, love their iPads, and they're going to want to access their apps that they're always used to. I'm going to go back into our assistive touch menu. I'm going to go back home. And I'm going to show you one other app. Let's try this drawing one for kids. This is kind of fun for kids. And we're going to open this up, enter into it. And I'm going to choose a picture. We'll choose this bumblebee with a flower. And now that I'm in here, I can choose my tool. I've chose my paint bucket and then I hover over an area and it's gonna fill it in for me. Really neat, right? So any iOS app, it definitely takes a little bit of practice, but very, very accessible for people. So now that I've shown you the main features of the TD Pilot, I've showed you how the eye tracking works in the Toby Dynavox software and in the iOS environment. Um, if you have any other questions or if you want to see this in person, uh, please let me know. I would be happy to do that. Thanks, everybody.